Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Glowis Art. As always, my name is Emmanuel Okafo. And in this video, which is a multi-part multi series on how to use the new Popa Pro Animate add-on for Blender, we'll be continuing the series on how to use the add-on. Last video, we talked about the rig creator and the rig utility. So if you've not seen it, um, check the playlist. It's right there. Um, next, we'll be looking at the animation features and basically everything you need to know about the animation. Um, but I forgot one um, feature for the first video, which is the transfer object weight. Um, so it's also it's a very handy feature that can aid you in fixing, like adding props to your character or basically adding any object. So a nice example of that is if we add a simple sphere and we want this sphere to maybe be her bag and we want it to follow her around. Um, so let's let's make it more challenging so we'll have one here and one here and one here okay so we want all this sphere to follow the character and we want to do it in a nice and fun way um, so to do that you just need to click on transfer object weight then you get this new ui so you want to transfer from so you basically choose the object which you want to copy the motion so we the, for this instance um, let's go with the shirt okay and then rig we want to select the rig and finally transfer to we'll select this object uh, but one thing you will notice here with is we have this collection icon if you click it now you can select collection to transfer the weight okay so uh, transfer if we click on transfer it does everything for you and now if you move this object we can see it has transferred that weight okay um, so you can also do the same thing um, for other group objects like I said so let's just move them into a new collection okay and we transfer transform from object and this is the rig and this time we we'll select collection and select collection 5 and transfer and that's that yeah you have it So that's a very nice and very fun tool, which I forgot to mention. Um, so that's that. So now we're looking at the animation features. Um, the UI is also easy and straightforward. Um, you first have your categories. Basically, this contains um, different categories of animation, um, which you can use with nice thumbnails um, indicating what they do and also naming um, to make it easy to select. Um, you can go to all and using the search filter you can filter out what you want um, it's using the new blender filter um, that was recently implemented that is basically i forgot the, uh, it, it it automatically like if you press rt it tries to look for related words to figure it out okay um so that's that for the animation then we have the rig targets these are basically presets um so we have rigify we have auto rig this to are the custom ones which I created. So for the custom ones which doesn't come with the add-on, you can delete it. Um, let's see if I want to delete this. Just delete it and it's it will, um, removed. Um, the way you add it is through our retargeter, which I will be showing you in a coming video. Um, then you have the extend animation. Basically, if you have one, if you apply the one animation and you want to extend it, um, you can easily do that. Um, load and preview animation allows you to import uh, Mixamo files and all any animation that you can put on a mix summary you can import it and even your own custom um, animation as long as you set everything up and using the rig target to select it um so we'll be covering all of that so let's start with a preview animation so we'll just select um, a simple that's so what we can get um, brace hang to crotch so we'll just select preview and now we can see um, the animation um, so you're you're moved into a preview window so the animation is not yet applied onto the character so if you select each of the um, controllers you can see there's no animation because this is like a preview mode um, nothing has been applied um, this is important because it allows you to kind of test out your animations um, before you apply it. so we have reverse if you want to kind of reverse the animation you have stay in place um, so the stay in place feature is cool because it uh, you can apply it on different axes 
so if you don't want it to move on the Z axis it can just stay there and you can enable the Y so it goes there and if you enable the Z it kind of goes there so it gives you full control um, another cool feature is um, the apply animation to only selected bones so basically if you want if you look like a particular section or let's say a character is walking um, let's do that an um, example actually uh, okay so walk um, stop walking with rifle that's a preview uh, so we have the character walking with a rifle so let's say we want this animation of the leg but we don't want it to affect we we only want the animation for the leg so the way we'll go about it is in pause mode you basically want to select the bones that you want to keep for the animation and just click on apply animation to only selected bone so we can see that uh, it's applied the animation to only the selected part and you can now go in um, I want just this okay so now you can go in and pose the character to what you want and you can actually animate it at this phase but you cannot animate the ones that have the preview mode selected okay um, so that's that feature and what if you want to get back the initial stuff you just select all the bones and click on apply animation selected and there you go okay so um, let's apply this animation and let's use the extend animation feature so let's switch to a walking zombie so now you can see we have the we are adding the animation after and the great thing about this preview mode is your previous animation will still be you can be able to preview it to kind of see how it fits well with the initial animation uh, so let's say this animation ends here and over here we want this animation to meet us here at this position we we want it to feel like it's continuing so we can just easily mark this point maybe with a grease pencil we'll say this is where we want the front foot to be and then where we go here we can now have access to moving the location of the rig so this filter sorry things to the white axis and we can move this one on negative three uh, let's say negative nine negative 11 okay so it's roughly there so we can see how it's matching so you can really match it closely so you get a very nice continuation even though it's a different animation uh, right now we don't have the feature to kind of switch a mirror um, so that's a feature that will come in future updates <laughs> um, And so it continues from that position and going and keep going. So that's one nice example, um, awesome stuff you can get from the preview mode. Um, we also have tweaks for basically every single bone possible, every single bone present. So you can like move things around. That is going to, of course, mess up the animation. Um, but you can use this to like adjust stuff some more. Um, especially if it's not looking as expected so spine can really like push it um, so that's that for the animation you can always do reverse I think we've talked about that oh another one is the animation speed so if you want like a slow animation um, you can make it and it adjusts the timeline as you, um, if we say so if we increase the speed to like three you can see it's fast and it's adjusted um, you can also use repeat animation it's going to multiply the animation um, and you have just quick 
filter is here for um, shoulder space you can control the arm space um, neck, neck tilt um, yeah so in the future I hope to add more animation filters here um, and yeah so we can if you're happy with it you just apply the animation okay so you can also remove the animation and it removes uh, the animation so for the load and preview animation um, it's also straightforward um, let's get a nice mixamo animation okay so here in mixamo um, we have an animation this is trailer part 4 okay so you just click on download so usually you want to download without skin since we just need the rig and then you can choose your frame rate so anyone is fine so once you've downloaded it then you just come here in blender make sure you have the rig selected load and preview animation and then um, you can choose the animation you let it do its thing and then you have the animation and you can see it also supports fingers and you still have ability to kind of tweak every single thing basically the same features you have um, all the features you had with the internal animation you still have the same controllers um, for every other thing Okay, another cool thing you can do with it is you can import pose. Like let's say you just you're creating a character and you need to pose it and you see pose you like online, you can just import it. And uh, you can choose to adjust anything you want basically. And fingers, everything is kind of set up for you. Okay. Uh, the next is the animation layer. It's not as robust um, as a full animation layer suit, uh, but it offers you um, some sort of workflow in, if you want to add on top of it. So let's do add new layer. Um, so once you add that layer, you can just start animating. So let's say at the setting point, we want her to look this direction. and then and once you're happy um, you just click on bake layer so it's going to automatically select other bones and bring out this um, UI so we have just one the only thing you might want to change or check is the start and end frame so you want to make sure it matches yes so we have one to one um, 122 so big layers and okay and we have it as an animation layer and yeah so you can basically um, export this to Maya using FBX uh, or your game engine so it works nicely um, next one is the animation utilities this works mainly for the Rigify um, but it's really awesome it kind of so it saves you a lot of time for specific workflow so you don't need to come here and kind of make changes how this UI it also animates stuff for you so let's give an example um, so we have the character walking here okay so at this position we want to switch into IK basically we we are happy with the FK so we want to also animate um, at a certain point so once we are here we want to first insert property keyframes so it's basically inserting the keyframe to all the properties to allow us easily switch um, between FK and IK so once you you can also clear the property keyframes so insert and it's being indicated by this marker here so um, the property keyframe will be any place that has marker and when you remove the animation it clears that out for you um, so and the next frame we want to switch to an IK rig so we can just click to switch to IK and let's show the IK rig so the great thing about our switching method is once you switch it it also retains that position 
okay and now we can insert property so we have it working here and at this position we have our IK rig and let's extend the key um, timeline and now we can just switch it back or slowly start animating on top of it Okay, so add more motions. So yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to create, but just having fun with it. And you can hide the FK if you don't want to see it. Oh, shit. I forgot since I hit them, they didn't inside the keyframe. Okay, so you can see from switching. Uh, you can easily switch from the FK to IK. <laughs> no, I want it to look really good. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting carried away. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very fun. So you can kind of combine different workflows. And yeah, you just click on remove animation and class everything and you can start. So the next video will be talking about the retargeting. I hope this was fun and entertaining and uh, of course, informative. Um, if you have any question, leave it in the comment. If you need a private tutorial, you can let me reach out to me in my email and I can guide you as much as I can. Um, the next video will be talking about the final tab, which is the retargeting feature. This is really exciting. Um, so see you guys soon. Bye bye for now. By the way, the link will be in the description. Uh, so check it out for yourself if you're interested. Bye bye.